Hello YouTube and welcome to another one of my videos. Today I'm going to be turning this old computer into a fairly powerful media centre and video rendering PC. I'll be showing you how I installed the software, wired it up and configured the operating systems. First I'll show you what OS's I used and how to install them. For the media centre I chose the distribution of Kodi called Kodi Ubuntu. Kodi Ubuntu is a standalone OS which means it does not have to be run as an application on, for example, Windows. For video processor, I will be using Windows 10 as it is free, usable and easy to install. For anyone who like actually cares, this computer has an Intel Pentium running at a maximum of 3GHz with 1MB of cache over the old puny Core 2 Duo which obviously I upgraded from. In addition to that, there were 2GB of RAM. Not a lot, but the computer didn't like it when I tried to upgrade it, it just beeped at me. Finally, there was a 240 watt power supply, two 80GB hard drives, and a DVD-ROM drive. Wow! Let's get started by installing the operating systems. The first and most straightforward installation is Windows. It will be clear later why I chose to install Windows first. So I don't completely bore you, I'll briefly run through the installation of Windows. Wait, wait, wait. First insert the boot disk and select the boot from that. Then select your language. After agreeing to uh, all that, select the install destination. Make sure that the hard drive is formatted to NTFS as Windows will not allow the OS to be installed there. After that, well, just wait. For Kodi Ubuntu, simply head over to this website and download the free 32-bit ISO. You can then use software such as Rufus if you are using Windows and Unet Booting if you're using Mac to burn that ISO to a USB stick. I then ejected the USB stick and put it into one of the <coughs> USB ports. The next stage will vary from computer to computer, but the basic idea is to put the USB stick into the computer and select a boot from it. After that, you will be presented with a list of boot options on the USB stick. You want to click Install Kodi Ubuntu. However, if you just want to try, you can click Try Kodi Ubuntu without installing. This will be slow, however, as you are running the whole operating system off the USB stick. The install stage for Kodi Ubuntu is very similar to any other edition of Ubuntu. You select the hard disk that you want to install onto. I was originally going to try and partition the hard drive so that both the operating systems could run off the same hard drive, but I later realised that that would be quite hard, so now I'm just going to install one operating system on each hard drive. After that, select the time zone and agree to any T's and C's, and choose to download updates whilst installing. One of the most simple ways to uh, configure Windows is to check that all the drivers are updated to their latest versions. This will ensure that all the components can run together and operate uh, to the best of their ability. For more intermediate users, you can upgrade components like I did, for example, the processor, the RAM, the hard disk. You could even convert like a uh, IDE DVD drive to a SATA DVD drive. And then if you really want to go advanced, if your motherboard supports it, you can overclock components, for example, the processor and the RAM. And that will make them run faster, so in theory, perform better, but that will Bear in mind, in uh, reduce the lifespan. To check to see if any devices need updating and to actually update them, search for Device Manager. Once in the Device Manager, right click on the device that needs updating and click Properties. Once in the Properties, click Update Driver. Then select Search for Drivers. Windows will automatically search the internet for any compatible drivers. For the upgrades, I recommend either Novatech, Amazon or any other computer retailers. Alternatively, you can use other components from old computers that you have around your house. It's hard to say how to overclock your computer because it's different for everyone. Usually there will be an advanced section in your computer's BIOS where you can adjust the settings of the clock speeds. For Kodi Ubuntu, configuring and customising the operating system is very easy and there are loads of options. When you first boot up, however, you may get an error message like this. If so, just click no and it will go away. The first option for customization is to add apps, which in this case are called programs. Simply go to programs, get more, 
and there will be a huge list of programs available providing that you are connected to the internet. To add music, you can either go to music and then files to play music from a memory stick or a local storage server, or you can go to music and then to add-ons. Once in add-ons, go to get more and there will be a huge great list of music programs that you can install. Videos are exactly the same, you can either play files from a memory stick or from a local server or install a vast amount of video programs. Under settings you can find access to loads of features such as AirPlay or the web interface. Also there are hardware settings and system info. That's going to be it for this video. If you have any questions about either the Kodi Ubuntu or the render box then do leave that in the comments below. Uh, also please don't forget to like, share and subscribe that would be great. And if you have any upcoming build suggestions then also comment that down below. I'll see you in my next video.